Al Troutwick along with Donald Dell upstairs. Barry McKay courtside sunning himself. Al, it's very important now for Noah to get back in this match by an early break here. If he could break this game or the next game, he'll be very much alive. But you don't want Connors on top of you. He likes the steamroller. He's not a front runner, but he can really play with confidence. He held up the new balls, serving with the wind behind him. Now, Noah did not even realize he had made that shot. And the ball was called out on the pass, so it's love 15. Noah hit a little drop volley, and he didn't think it had gone over. You know, on this court, Donald, those new balls are going to make a big difference. They're a lot heavier. The ball on a cement court gets very light after nine games, so these balls are a lot heavier right now. could be tougher for Jimmy to serve. Well, that is a great recovery by Noah and a better overhead by Jimmy. Most players wouldn't have reached that ball. One of the nice traditions here at La Quinta and the Congolian Classic is that each year they select a player of the past and play the tournament in honor of him. They've done that for Ellsworth Vines and Jack Kramer, Tony Traber. This year, it's the great Pancho Gonzalez. And very well deserved. Now that's a smart play by Noah. Jimmy came in with the half volley, didn't come all the way in, was in no man's land. Now watch where Connors hits this ball. He hits the half volley and he stays back. He starts to retreat and look what Noah does to him. That is no man's land, the area between the baseline and the service line. You don't want to end up there. 30 all. Noah needing a break. there but he missed it Connors did something to his ankle I think he hit it with his racket 40, 30. It has definitely hurt his ankle badly he's gonna, let's see what happens quickly with the racket as he comes through there look at that his right ankle he really twisted it he didn't hit it with his racket. Maybe we can see that one more time because he almost snapped it. And he's back now serving. There was a twisted ankle. I don't know how severe, but let's see. He's Watch the right foot there. The right foot. Look at it twist and turn right there. It's the most common way to sprain an ankle. Very bad play by Noah. Extremely bad return for Noah. Donald Connors is limping. Todd Schneider is way on the far side of the court from where Jimmy is right now. My question would be, would he, would he actually tape that ankle? I would think he'd almost have to. Todd Schneider is the tour trainer. Well, he does get a three-minute uh, injury break if he wants it, but I don't think Jimmy's taking it. Doesn't seem to be limping right now. I would bet after the match it may puff up a little bit. One all. Now Jimmy's doing that not because he's angry, just to let off a little steam and relax. mad because he hit the short lob. And 
there's a very intense, worried Noah. here Al he wants to end this match quickly he knows Noah can play better and psychologically when you're in a situation like this the longer you play Connor's starting so quickly he's worried that Noah's going to play himself into the match so he wants to get a break quickly and get it over with very interesting games one all Noah serving 30 love but he does it well. He comes in on that chip always to Connors' backhand. And I think that's Jimmy's strength. But Yannick is used to playing right-handers, and I'm surprised that he keeps coming in on the Connors' backhand, but he does. 40 love. Looks like John McEnroe, not Jimmy Connors. Look at the touch shot there. Look where Connors is. He comes in behind it. And here's why. I don't believe this. Now, Noah, let's watch his great stretch. He saves this one, gets under it nicely. But Connors is waiting for it down the line at the net. And it plays by Yannick. And Noah missing a forehand slice. 40-30. 40 and there he is, James Scott Connors, five times winner of the U.S. Open. But more than that, he's gotten to the semifinals or finals every single year since 1974. He was in the finals in 75 and 77, besides winning it five times. Unbelievable record in the U.S. Open. And that's a bad volley by Noah. Not that tough a shot. Stood up too straight and missed it. Connors has come back from being down three. 40 love he was. And I'm very disgusted. He said, you're great. Very nice. Not a bad little first serve. No call. Connors thought it was wide. Sit there and look up my shorts and see the line at the same time. <laughs> 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 he says, How can you sit in that chair and then I block you with my shorts and you can't see the line? Move out a little bit. That guy's supposed to move, though. He really he should is. stand up, Barry. You're right. Move with the flow of the ball. you got to move over about six or seven feet to call that line. job. <laughs> I don't know if you can see it, but uh, Jimmy's finally got that guy out of the chair. He's doing a little coaching. Well, that's a first. Let's see that far sideline. And yeah, he's down low, but he's out of his chair. Trying to see that far sideline. Well, Noah is struggling to hold here after being up 40 love. Connors, here's why. Now watch this low volley. Yannick gets down. It's short. Jimmy comes in. Lots of time there with the swoop. Just inside the line. This is where Connors really makes his opponent wait down right here. Very good move. He slows it way down. Furious. 
because that would have given him a break point, a game rather, for 2-1. Noah could still recover now and get in two first serves. says it in French, I suppose. And it's unusual because he can't see for sure whether that ball was good or out where he hit it. But his state of, his state of mind is not good. That's out. And Connors a little unlucky. Noah with a missed hit volley turns it into a good shot. Now watch it here. It's dying on Jimmy. He comes in and scoops it cross court. Noah outstretched, tried to hit it, but the ball carried. Patty Connors, Jimmy's wife, trying not to show any emotion under the dark glasses. Hiding but worried. Yannick Noah took about 25, 30 seconds, just stood and composed himself with his back to Connors. Here we go. And that's really what he needs to do, Al, is just take a little more time. He shouldn't be rushing because Jimmy's on a roll and he's in a hurry. And stop, that means for, just stop for a second, count to ten. Just towel off, wait a while, take a couple deep breaths, but slow it down. Take a lot of time between points because Connors is so confident and so quick. Okay, is that a softer hard net today? It looks a little tighter than yesterday, Don. It was awful loose yesterday, but they firmed it up a little bit. I don't think too many balls are going to climb over that net. When it hits, it's going to stop. change rackets. He is very, he's really unhappy, isn't he? The whole frame of mind. Yep. Ever since almost the first game of the first set, Donald, he's been real unsettled. He's unhappy with the cause. And I think he's really unhappy with his own game as well. It's just that he's missing so many balls that he normally wouldn't miss. Very frustrated. Such a stark contrast to the way he's been walking around this resort listening to his stereo and smiling and everywhere there seems to be a child he seems to be picking them up and having fun with them he's not happy here today at all no, i thought that ball was out yeah what are you doing here what are you doing what are you doing here ball is too close considered no what do you mean it's too close what do you mean it's too close it's under your nose then you can't see that i can see the ball and it's, it's not you know make an overrule on a ball like close but when do you make an overrule if the ball is here you don't it's see it when it's, a clear it's here by your nose it's not even there it's here it's slow it's slow it's a lob can you see a slow lob right between under your nose can you see it yes no, you can't. Oh, Noah's wasting his time. But he's lost the service break. That's what's really disturbing him, not just the call. There is his fiance, Cecilia Rhodes. She's a little bit stunned by Noah's outburst because he's normally such a quiet, happy person. And that is really... Jimmy Connors is sitting there waiting for the next point, next game, rather, because he's... 
he knows he's in, in charge now with a set and a break. Let's see if we can watch it on the replay. Advantage Connors. Noah hits that sliced ball, and it hits right there. And Connors went for the pass and made the shot, but the ball was called out by the sidelines. When the chair umpire, who has the second overrule possibility, did not overrule. There was no way Noah was going to return that Connor shot anyway. Barry? Well, I'm here. Cecilia, what are you, ta what are you ta saying to Yannick and French? It's secret. It's um, between us. <laughs> A little secret conversation there in French between Cecilia and Yannick. I wish I spoke French better, guys. I could interpret. But Boy, she's learning fast with you, McKay. Tell Cecilia <laughs> she's doing great. <laughs> we tried. These nosy television reporters won't leave him alone. Now Jimmy Connors serving 15 love and two games to one. And what could be the last set for Yannick Noah? Well, Yannick has got to change his whole mental outlook here. Suddenly, now he turns around. He's got to calm down or it's over. As Connors will serve him right out of the match. from here to go on a sea hunt, but there's Lloyd Bridges enjoying La Quinta anyway. And on the left is Judge Robert Kelleher in the sunglasses, the left of Poncho. He's been Poncho's lawyer for many years, and he's a federal judge in Los Angeles now. He was formerly the president of the United States Association in 1967 and 68. Robert Kelleher from L.A. And boy, it is slipping away fast for Yannick Noah. Everything's going against him. Game to Jimmy Connors. Barry McKay, if you were the Davis Cup captain now sitting on the court, what would you say to Yannick? Well, Donald, first of all, obviously he's got to calm down, but I think what he's got to do is start concentrating on the match and maybe change his style of play. If I were coaching Yannick, I'd say, look, throw caution to the wind, come in behind all four serves on this particular game. At least it'll make him concentrate and forget all the bad luck he's having. Even if he loses a game, I'd say, try something different. Come in on every ball. game. Um, this set, the one which Noah won, would really rejuvenate him, but it's a good last game. Well, Noah has won only 13 of 31 advances to the net. That's about one-third. That's very unusual. Low percentage when you're coming in. Connors has won 14 of 20 approaches. It's an interesting statistic. In this cement court. Second serve. Slingshot effect of the metal racket that Jimmy likes took over. The ball got loose and he couldn't control it. It was a high bounder and he just lost control of the flick. It was a high bounder and he just lost control of the flick. Put that point away, but he didn't. He gave the ball right back to Connors. 
Well, the Connors is using tremendous versatility there. He's guessing perfectly, made the lob volley off the second shot. He's playing awfully well right now. 40-15. Singles final of the 1984 Congolian Classic. And event Connors has won twice. No loss. Another point at net that Noah does not win. 40, 30. Super Bowl MVP Marcus Allen of the LA Raiders in attendance here. Boy, he's really been making the rounds after Super Bowl. Seen him all over the place. Well, why shouldn't he? It's a free country. Absolutely. He likes to travel, likes athletics, likes money. What's wrong with all that? Not a thing. Sounded like your profile. <laughs> you smart Alec. 40-30 to Noah. And it's long. And Barry McKay, when Noah comes around, why don't you sh say a few words to him and calm him down as he holds. Just snapping the American flag over La Quinta Hotel and Tennis Club. About a 45-minute drive from Palm Springs in Southern California and a glorious day in a picture-perfect setting. Connors, 6-2. His day has been glorious as well on the court. 6-2 and now 3-2 in the second set. That's the Connors choke sign, the racket handle down the throat. He's been doing that a lot. He's making fun of himself there, but he's very confident, very loose. This is Noah's best chance so far to start off at the first point. Love 15. That is a heck of a volley by Connors. Noah made a good recovery off that serve, which swung him wide. Now watch where Noah ends up. Look at him way outside the doubles line. And he tries to change direction there, but his feet leave him. Watch Jimmy get down on this very low. Look at this. Now watch how Noah tries to change direction, but his feet won't respond to his mind. 15 all. set here and get the match into the three sets. Double fault. Jimmy may be helping him. 15-30. First time Noah has led on Connors' serve and on the first point in the entire match. shade and now Yannick Noah standing at his best chance to break so far 1540 two breakers this could really turn the match around let's put it that way okay let's put it that way Connors is not through yet because that was not a tough shot. He played it too close to the line. And we're at three all. Jimmy Connors, 6-2 and now three all. Noah will be serving following up the service break. And there is the oak tree emblem of Landmark Corporation, who's giving the trophy here. That's the emblem they use all over the country. The winner will receive the bigger one. 
plus $34,000 and a slew of Volvo Grand Prix points. Ace for Yannick Noah, number four for him. Noah ranked number five on the Atari computer. Jimmy Connors, number three. Landmark Corporation now is run by Jerry Barton, cousin, chief executive officer, but Ernie Vossler, the former golfing great, is the general director here at La Quinta. He runs the place. And they really have a facility. And Noah stayed back on that second shot. This would be the first time Noah could sneak ahead here if he could hold for 4-3. score to 15.30. Barry McKay, what's the courtside temperature like? It's pretty cool up here. It's pretty pretty warm down here, Al. The sun is very bright. The breeze has absolutely stopped, so it, I'd say it's yeah. back up to around 80, 80 degrees again. A lot hotter than when we started. No in trouble with a second serve at 15.30. Stays back. Jimmy again. And misses the half volley. He hit two earlier. Noah with a lot of touch, keeping the ball low with the slice. Now watch Connors on the baseline. Leans into it. Hits through it. Yannick with a high return. Jimmy lets it bounce. But he overplays the baseline. 30 all. Noah seems to be settling down a little bit. Doesn't seem to be as visibly upset as he was with himself before and with the official. It's his best serve of the match. Ace number five. There's Pancho Segura, the great pal of Pancho. Gonzalez, who's being honored. Segu. From Ecuador, the two-handed forehand he made famous. Well, years ago, he helped coach Jimmy Connors for a couple of seasons. But Jimmy's real coach over the years has been his mother, Gloria. And that is a careless forehand, a little unusual, and gives Noah a breathing room. Statistician Kathy Andriatis up here shakes her head. I don't know what she had in mind, but that's what we got. Oh. On the baseline. And Jimmy gets a short one and he drills it. Can't give him a short two-handed backhand in the center of the court if you want to win the point. One reason I think Jimmy is comfortable coming in more against Yannick. Here he works his way in, and Yannick goes cross court, but it's a high sitter. Jimmy just punches it there, no problem. 
three four thirty love. First time Connors has trailed in the match. Jimmy Connors is first of the match. And he moves to 40 love. Connors serving 82% of his first serves in to Noah's 47%. Noah's raised it from 33, but still 47 is not very good. Jimmy misses one. but the second one he was devastating he guessed right and nails it for all second set and while we're watching tennis at center court here at La Quinta others are libating while they watch USA Network a few margaritas being served in there no doubt this is in the clubhouse here at La Quinta tennis club that Charlie Passarell and envisioned and created for all now Noah must get that first serve in. Surprised we didn't see Barry McKay in there. Games are for all. He's in there in spirit. Just out. This match about an hour and twenty oh. minutes old. to pace himself as he goes to his towel. Gets that handle nice and dry. Says I'm going to break serve here at love 15. He's not a sawdust user. No, nope, he likes the towel. Straightening the strings routine. Good first serve. And Yannick wants to. He wants to tell Yeah, he does. He's really playing it up. Yeah, I think he is. I think he's trying to have a little gamesmanship. Brian Godfrey is the only player that straightens the strings longer and more often than Jimmy Connors. Just a nervous habit. Blasted that one long, 40-15. Trying to jump out front in the second set, 5-4, if he holds serve here.
Donald, what might Jimmy Connors' day have been like before this match? We began at 12.30 in the afternoon local time. Well, Jimmy gets up fairly early, I think, 8, 8.30, and tries to relax a little bit in the morning. He plays with his son, Brett, sits around, reads the newspaper, and then he likes to come over around 10, 10.30, maybe about two hours before the match. Has a big breakfast. There's his wife, Patty, and uh, he likes to rally for about 40 minutes, shower, and then the change, get plenty of time between that and the start at 10 at 12 30 so he was started rallying around 10 30 quarter left he won't play very long no call uh-oh connor thought it was long noah now it's called out oh, that that's a little unfair that's a little unfair hold on noah, noah's not going to put up with that yannick. who calls who calls who yannick just then said he's going to stop good. playing he said good the linesman out. This. Hold on here. We, we may have a sit down here in a second. Can I see the, re can I see the referee, please? I, I want to see. You can. Yannick has asked for the referee. I don't see him. Well, the supervisor, referee. See if we can see it away. again, the no forehand. A lot of depth. I don't want to this shit. can't tell from this angle. Here comes Ken Farrar, the. Grand Prix supervisor, there's a different angle. Ferrari is the fellow with the sunglasses. What was his call? Great. What was his call? The call was he, said, he said the ball was good. Don't, what, what are, you are you honest? Can you be honest at least? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Be honest, okay? Hold on, That's all I say. Yes. He did call it good first with a hand signal, and then he waved out when Connor showed him the mark. He calls it out, it's out. He says good, he says he good. His call. He, he says good, his Jimmy call. looks yeah. at him and then he says uh, out call. like this. Uh, yeah, I think it's a judgment call. No, I mean, I'm sick of it. I mean, I just want the rules, okay? But I mean, okay. if, if it's play, fair, and this guy call. is completely unfair. It's a judgment you call. are unfair, he calls it I'm out. sorry to tell play. you. Play. And you don't do anything about anything anyway. And you all say... <laughs> now, Ken Farrar is saying it's a judgment call. He's saying it's a judgment call, which means that the base linesman has changed his call. He first waved out, and then Jimmy showed him the mark, and he called it good. Excuse me, I had just a reverse. I'm sorry. He called it good, and then changed his call to out for a deuce. Noah is furious. Yanni, when he first came over, Donald, he said, that's it. I default. But obviously, he's changed his mind. He was absolutely livid when he first came over here. on that last call was that the baselines had waited so long to change his call and it looked like Jimmy had influenced him by showing him the mark and that's one thing that was lost in the translation when Bob Cranmore in the chair explained it to Ken Farrar the supervisor that's what Noah was so furious about saying be fair that he had changed his call all right Noah serving his advantage for all second set Connors really returning well off that ball. Reduce. Get, yes, perfectly. Great anticipation. Watch his footwork here. He slices the ball to the forehand of Connors. Not too deep, but he guesses perfectly and nails the volley into the open court. Watch Jimmy on this other angle. Stays down, tries to hit cross court. Look at Noah. Perfect timing.
Mariners hamming it up a little bit with the crowd. Signaling that the ball was well long. At Deuce again. Single final of the 84 Condolian Classic. And there's a really good serve by Yannick. He sliced it wide. Connors pulled way out of court. best serves against Jimmy. You don't want to serve down the middle. You don't want to serve into his body. You want to swing him wide on the deuce court. And he misses the forehand. Noah has held, and this crowd has responded. Great Patrick Division matchup between the Flyers of Philly.